Hello and welcome to the very first Mind Texas Civilization Craft tutorial video. I'm Adam Randlin, your guide, and in this video I'll be showing you how to craft and build a camp. I'll also go over some basic camp commands and give you a tour of one of our custom camp templates, the Cultist Camp. In this first chest I already have a completed camp door, as I wanted to first show you what that looks like. In this next chest I have a number of the custom materials that you will need to craft a camp. In total, you will need 243 logs, 27 coal, 18 feathers, and 18 leather. Start off by getting your logs and begin crafting them into refined lumber. Every 9 logs will make a tier 1 refined wood, and in turn, 9 of those will be crafted into a tier 2 milled lumber. For the camp door, we need 3 of these milled lumber, so I'll just craft those now. Back to the materials chest, I also have some leather, feathers, and coal. I'll need to craft 9 feathers into another tier 1 packed feathers, and then I'll craft 9 leather into a second tier 1 carved leather. With both of the packed feathers and carved leather arranged in two halves of a square pattern, I can craft a chieftain's headdress. And finally, I have all of the materials for crafting a camp door. The chieftain's headdress on the top center, the tier 2 milled lumber on the second row, and the coal box on the third row, I now have a camp door. I already scouted out this location previously, and I want to start my camp here. With the camp door selected, simply place the door on the ground to get started. You'll immediately be greeted by this inventory pop-up, which lists all of the different templates. Default, Medieval, Haunted, Arctic, Atlantean, Aztec, Cultist, Egyptian, Elven, Hell, and Roman. Not all servers have these templates for free. For this camp, I want to use the Cultist template. You will then be prompted to enter a name for your camp, as well as given an option to cancel. Whoops. Looks like I need to clear out the chests here before I can build my camp. With that out of the way, I can found the camp now. Once I have entered a name, the camp will be built instantly. And here it is, my new camp is set up. Again, this is the cultist camp template. The first feature of the camp is the campfire. You'll want to pit coal in the furnaces next to it. The camp will consume the coal in order to keep the camp alive. Without it, your camp will disappear. Up next is the camp's control block. Your camp is initially protected, but once a day your camp is able to be raided. If the control block is destroyed, so is your camp. Inside the structure you'll find some signs. One of them will prompt you to upgrade your camp longhouse. You'll want to do this as soon as possible. The longhouse upgrade costs 500 coins. Without the upgrade, you cannot found a civilization. Place bread into the chest that appears in order to generate coins and tokens of leadership every hour. You'll need 36 of these tokens with your ID on them to craft a Sith founding flag. Back outside, there is another upgrade you'll probably want to get quickly. The garden. In Civilization Craft, farming is disabled outside of farm structures and camp gardens. You'll be able to grow wheat here for bread in order to put in the longhouse to generate coins and tokens of leadership. Finally, in another part of the camp, you'll find the last upgrade. The sifter is another useful upgrade to the camp. Once purchased, you can place cobblestone into the chest. The sifter will use the cobblestone and filter it down into gravel, with a chance to find rare minerals and custom crafting materials such as chromium and tungsten.
This wraps up the introduction to the camp. Thanks for watching. Come play Minecraft with us and check out Civilization Craft on MindTexas.com.